Hi guys, so I'm going to be demoing the Jeffree Star Summer Bundle. These do come in a different color packaging with the yellow cap and pink star. Starting off with the color Queen Bee. I was most excited for this one, so that's why I went first. It may not be for everyone, but I already have New York City by Lime Prime. And so I already knew that I loved the yellow lipstick on me. This is a bit thicker than any other Jeffree Star liquid lipstick that I have tried, and it does dry very fast, so you have to work very fast. This does need a coat or two for a fully opaque finish. I do think that if you have even a bit of chapped lips that you need to do a lip scrub first, which is what I should have done. But anyways, I do think this looks incredible on super dark skin tones, but I also love it on myself. I think that all of the shades in this bundle are so very summery, but I do wish that they'd come out earlier in the summer. And this also makes your teeth look whiter. <laughs> All right, this is watermelon soda, which reminds me that four of these are watermelon scented, including this one. Watermelon soda is a bright reddish pink. I do think that this one is a little bit more watery, but it still dries fully opaque. And just really quick, because I'm sure there's going to be a comment about it. Obviously, by buying this bundle, I don't care a bit about the drama surrounding Jeffree Star. Until he bullies me, I personally think that that's all it is, is drama, and until he stops making good products, I'll keep buying, because at the end of the day, it's all about makeup, and he makes great makeup. <laughs> but anyways, here is Watermelon Soda on me. I do love this shade a lot. And third is 714. I am shaking all of these before I apply them. I recommend you do the same. And I would say that this is a bubblegum pink pink. This is the only one that is not watermelon scented. He said that he thought that, that changed the formula. I would rather have a better formula than smell good. <laughs> but anyways, this one is not as opaque and goes on a little bit streaky, but you do just need to work with it a little. I actually think that this one would look great with like a pretty gloss on top of it. All right, and this is New Beach. Jeffrey described this as a macaroni and cheese shade, which is super accurate description, but also the reason I did not think I was gonna like it on myself, but I ended up absolutely loving this. I would actually have to say that this is like my second favorite from this bundle. I think it makes my eyes pop and looks great with this simple brown makeup that I've done. So yeah, I really love this color. Alright, and lastly, this is my personal favorite one. This is a Pale Lavender. This, in my opinion, is the best application. It's not streaky. It's fully op opaque. It is the easiest and the quickest to apply because you don't have to layer it at all. I also think that this is a shade or two darker than Requiem from Kat Von D Beauty. I think this, this would look amazing with a super dramatic brown or purple eye. I absolutely love this color. And that's it. That's all I have to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching.